guys doing? I'm Tony Katz, and I'm here with Eric Espinoza. Uh, Eric, how's the trade show going Look, for you? look, look. I make the greatest cigar in the history of the universe. I don't even know who these other people are. I don't even know why they show up. Honestly, I'm done with the whole damn interview. That's right. That's commitment to the bit. He knew it was my mic. <laughs> Do I owe you a new mic, Fingers? It's Eric Espinoza. Look at you. Um, I said this to your team, and it's absolutely true. You guys are making the best cigars in America right now, hands down. I appreciate this is, that, bro. This is crazy stuff. We put a lot of effort into it. Listen, I'm a foodie. I like to I like to cook. When you get good ingredients, you have a better chance of your meal coming out better. And with cigars, it's no different. We seek some of the best tobaccos in the world. So is it is it been tough to get those tobaccos? You know, we've talked to a lot of people that talk about vertical integration. They've got the farms in Nicaragua. They got the farms in the Dominican. They're able to make sure they get the leaf. We've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of growth uh, because of COVID. We've seen a lot of supply chain issues. That hasn't hit you? Of course, it's hit everybody. Whether it's tobacco, uh, the guy who makes the bands for you, the guy who makes boxes for you, it's, it wasn't one thing, it's another. But it, now it's stabilized a little bit and it's, it's gotten a lot better uh, because you have more people making bands, you have more people making boxes, you know? And then as far as the tobacco, um, that, that's why, you know, AJ Fernandez was a very good friend of mine. You know, even though I have my own factory, yeah. why do I make some cigars with AJ? It's very simple. The guy gets the best rappers in the world. You know, so we, you know, that's, I won't settle for anything less. If it's not the best, I, I won't use it. So that's one of the reasons that, besides him being a great friend, it's one of the reasons that why we, he makes some of our cigars. Of course, it's you that does the knuckle sandwich yes. in conjunction with Guy Fieri. Absolutely. Are you surprised by how that cigar has become the go-to like it went from oh this is a little celebrity thing to oh my gosh it now has four different facings to it you got the chef special you got the sampler pack that's about to to come out and everything else are you surprised by how that has exploded absolutely not listen <laughs> I, i'm not I, and i'll tell you why told you that's the man a and i'll tell you why a lot of other celebrities have tried it and it didn't work now there's a reason why in my opinion it didn't work this guy's all in. This guy's a big cigar smoker. And when we met and he wanted me to make him a cigar, I told him, no, it doesn't work. You know, I, I love you to death. I watch your show, but it doesn't work. And he asked me, why not? And I said, because nobody does anything about it. They just right. they slap their name on it, think it's going to sell. And he looks at me and he says, I did my research on you, but apparently you didn't do your research on me. And I said, well, explain. And uh, he said, I don't do nothing half-ass. If I'm going to do it, I do it the right way. I don't do it at all. And what can I help you? And I said, very simple. Come to the trade show. I need you to do some events with me. Um, you know, I, I, I need you to be an ambassador, you know, uh, uh, not just for the brand, for cigars. And he said, I'm all in. And look at it. The guy was here for two nights. We did the opening party. Mm -hmm. He was here all day yesterday. You know, he, you see him with a cigar in his mouth at the uh, NBA All-Star game. You know, you see him in diners driving a dive wearing the shirt. Yeah. And he did the... Uh, uh, with his hometown, an episode in Fernandale, uh, California, with a cigar in his hand, you know, and 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 he's going to help the whole industry. He's in the cover of Cigar Aficionado, you know, and, and people are responding to it, you know, and he's a big, big cigar smoker. He's not a fly by night. What's next uh, for Espinosa? What's next? I mean, the the, the six hundred ones still rock. Six hundred one blue made our top three of the year uh, la last year. Uh, the sake bombs. I think is, is is terrific. What is what is next for you? Oh, we're working on something. We work very closely with Guy. We got something. Something that uh, means uh, a lot dearly to him, you know, with his sister. So that's what we're working on, you know. And, and listen, uh, things are hot. We need to press and 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 continue doing different brands with him. Um, and we got something. It's not out yet, but we, we can't talk about too much about it. But um, look, keep growing the brand and keep growing the brand and and. And and I'm ecstatic how things are going. Eric Espinosa, Tony, a pleasure. Man. I, I want to thank you first of all for what you do for the industry, bro. You, oh, you know, nice. I met you a couple years ago, and and from the bottom of my heart, and, and everybody that works for me and the company, thank you for what you do for the cigar. Industry. Yeah, but it's really all about fingers, Malloy, isn't it? <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. It does. It all it has does. to do with the man with the mohawk. It, it, it does, bro. It, it, it's got everything to do. I appreciate you, bro. Dude, man, it's thank kind. you, bro. Thank, thank you so much. Bro. Appreciate thank you. you.